Is utilising stop loss orders a good idea for your regular trader? So I am going to be a huge contrarian to everybody else who said, be careful, be careful, be careful, have tight stop losses, tight stop. The tight stop losses, I am certain, is the main reason why most traders don't make money. Because before a trade moves your way, it usually moves the opposite way because the people in the market don't want, they have to make money from you and they know they're going to close you out because most of you have tight stop losses. So you never get to make money. I'd say if you're confident about a trade, don't have tight stop losses. Have a big, big gap between your stop losses. So if it goes down and it backs up to where you want, you're still in the trade and you're not taken out. I would say stop losses are, I would say is the main reason why most traders don't make money, even when they get it right. When they know the direction is right and they still get taken out, it's because of your stop losses. I say don't listen to anyone who says have really tight stop losses. If you are confident, don't have tight stop losses. You will lose money even if you are right in guessing the direction. Are they ever a good idea? They are they're good ideas sometimes, but then I would say if you're not sure about your trade, then don't do it. Don't do it. It's, it's a good idea if you have a huge position that, you know, over the weekend or whatever, some massive political event is going to happen and by the time you can catch up with it, it's too late, you're wiped out. So in that case, it's good to have a stop loss. But still, I would say, don't have your stop losses too tight if you can help it. You know, if, if it's a, you have to judge where you are, what, what, what time of year you are, what, what's going on geopolitically, whether it's safe generally to keep your position open with that much of a, with that tight stop loss. Stop losses, I would say if there is a research done, that we people would find is the m main reason why when they guess the market direction right they got they made never made money because they get taken out and the people who run the markets they know they game they know if they go down before they go up they've taken you out how do you manage risk I manage risk I don't really I'm not a very good risk manager because I'm very brave in my trades I go all the way in, and, uh, but I consider where I am at that time, what are my risks, more, more on an intuitive level. And when I do, I go in all the way in. I mean, now I am all the way in to Christmas on Dow Jones hitting 19,000, and I think it will. What methods do you employ to minimize losses? Uh, I generally have have a stop loss but my stop losses are not tight at all stop losses really and intuition and if i see a trade is not going my way i know it within a day i don't have to wait five weeks to know within a day i know if this trade is not going to my go my way and i close it i was going to ask so what do you do do you close do you yeah, put more I would, in i close it and i no feelings how do you determine if a trade has failed other than its performance after entry i think if it has gone too far let's say i have gone long i have bought and it's gone too far down on in the first couple of days even the first day i know this is not going to go my way and i close it i think within a day i know if i should close it but i don't know if this works for someone who's trading fx or you know because it's quite quick I think if you see it, it's not, you've got a kind of time frame in your head. If it's going too much in the other direction, another pattern is developing. So you close it without feeling and you wait to recognize the pattern again, you make up for it. 